you'll indulge me, I want to offer my commentary after dedicating my life to the study of politics and media for the last 20 years. We have a truth problem in this country. Tonight, after all this chaos, President Trump still tweeted that he won in a landslide. No, he didn't. That's not true. He continues to say there was massive voter fraud, but he hasn't been able to prove that case in court. His own Justice Department, Homeland Security Department, leaders of every state in the country say there is no voter fraud. Yet President Trump continues to pretend that there was. The president doesn't want to admit that he lost, and it really wasn't all that close, so he just isn't admitting it. But what may be worse is Republican lawmakers who know better continuing to engage in a farce to make the president feel better and not alienate his voters. Today is proof that living in an alternative reality has consequences. These scenes were shocking, but not all that surprising. Telling people that the media is the enemy of the people has consequences. Telling supporters to head to the Capitol and to fight has consequences. I'm not trying to endorse a candidate or a party by saying this, but I am trying to endorse reality. There are objective truths. Two plus two equals four. The sky is blue. We can't function as a nation if we can't agree on at least a few things. And one of those things we've agreed on since our founding is that every president from every party has participated in the peaceful transfer of power. George Washington knew we didn't need to have a king in this country. That's why we were founded. So he left the stage with grace. Donald Trump is not a king. And it's time for him to acknowledge reality. The farce is dangerous and it should be over. I'm Alex Michelson. That is my view. Let me know what you think in social media.